With a haunting Venice sound theater, here's all three of Kenneth Branagh's Agatha Christie films from worst to best. The last place is Murder on the Orient Express. This is a solid start to the franchise. Kenneth Branagh does a great job as this detective who can be funny and really smart at the same time. The setting of a train that's stuck on a bridge is better than the other settings they use for these films. With that being said, I think this is easily the least entertaining of these films. It doesn't have a lot of Kenneth Branagh style filmmaking and editing in there like the other films. And there are some great actors like Johnny Depp and Willem Dafoe foe that are very underused in this film. I just wasn't invested in the story like I am with the others on this list, which is why it's in last place. In second place is Death on the Nile. Now, this film has a lot of great things about it. The setting of a ferry boat is interesting. The music is great. The cast is fantastic. None of the actors feel underused like the first one, and Cam Bra's directing shines through with a lot of great shots and camera movement in this film. But that being said, the pacing of this film is pretty bad with it taking what felt like halfway through the film for the murder to happen as the movie very slowly sets things up. It feels like the first half of this movie took way too long to start going and then when the murder happened everything felt rushed also when they do reveal what's kind of going on and who the killer is it wasn't very satisfying it was kind of obvious it's still a good movie that i enjoyed but has a lot of problems that bogs it down and in first place is a haunting in venice the newest film in this franchise is easily the best so far as it dives into the genre of horror when you take kenneth Braugh style directing and mix it with horror it works really well the movie scared me quite a bit and was able to have a dark ominous tone from beginning to end likewise this has the best cinematography of the franchise, Venice has a really good setting for this movie and some of the shots of the city are amazing. The plot twist is really surprising and I did not see it coming from a mile away. The pacing is also great as it's the shortest of the three movies and therefore it doesn't take too long to set things up. With that being said, Detective Pyrote is not as fun or entertaining of a character as he is in the other films and this movie is supposed to be retired and worn out and because of that we don't get a lot of his personality that makes him such an interesting character to watch. Even the best film in this franchise is a perfect fix so hopefully this franchise just continues to get better either way this was a great mystery movie and a great horror movie and for that it's the best so far